let's start a very very good morning <clears throat> let's start with the we'll move to a chapter a fresh it is one of the simplest chapter we'll be doing in fact uh, in the working term it could be simplest marks term i think weightage could be around 8 to 10 marks we have so marks wise i think that will play a very important role plus this chapter will help you in building your base so once you get in the flow you will come to know that what kind of a uh, uh, subject we have and how we proceed further and second is there will be few chapters before i start a few chapters would be such which will be related more with the accountancy or normal mathematical calculation there could be few chapters which requires your extreme level of a mathematics but again as i said in the first class i am again reiterating and we would be doing for a couple of days more that no matter how tough the mathematics is you should be able to read today's chapter is something which uh, you see every day in your life a mutual fund will be starting with approximate weightage comes from the mutual fund is around 8 to 10 marks if your luck is good it can be 12 marks we i have not seen a student generally making a mistake but in the past few years if i speak in the last 2 3 years institute has been setting paper in such a way either the length of the question is increased a lot or there could be a slight erroneous part in that uh, solution comes in or a question comes in otherwise this chapter is straight forward it will revolve around only two parts for example uh, what is a mutual fund for example now again i go back to same thing which i said your stipend is approximately i assume ranging from 5000 to 12000 i am assuming 12000 on the higher side or 15000 let's suppose and you want to buy share of a mrf it's very difficult to buy one share of mrf with the 15000 means it's very very difficult that you will require even if higher side i take your stipend 15000 it will take at least 7 months of or 8 months you will have some expenses also after that we have uh, one share of mrf being bought which comes out now mutual fund what it does is it collects people from the like minded people it's a collection of the for example we have all of you in the class if i collect uh, some amount from you then the moment i collect some amount from you i would be able to buy one share of the mrf if i collect let's suppose 1000 1000 rupees and we have a 100 200 people then out of that i can create a fund which is in the auto sector they might be able to buy the mrf share they'll invest in a particular sector particular industry of your choice mutual fund is an indirect investment of the, in the market one investment i can do is directly i can invest in the market second type of investment is a indirect investment in the market which comes out when we say a indirect investment it basically means is i am giving money to someone else and someone else is buying on my behalf this chapter might have practically linked what we call as a portfolio managers the portfolio managers but in the in i have a separate chapter so i'll be taking it separately going forward could be a possibility in your uh, study material there could be a couple of questions which i have a link with the portfolio so i'll tell you that this question will cover in the portfolio will not leave anything from anything which has come in the past history or study material and so on everything would be covered anything which has a link for example a correlation formula or some uh, beta concept formula or correlation because mutual fund and mutual fund is nothing but portfolio managers portfolio managers are those who manage the portfolios basically you give them the money they run the show mutual fund you see that they are investing in the uh, telecom sector they are investing in the airline sector they are investing in the oil and gas sector they are investing in the banking sector but you give them the money you give give your preference to them the moment you give your preference accordingly they will invest now chapter wise i am saying it's very very easy chapter just to spend few more time so that you get adaptable to the industry post covid that's after almost 6 uh, months or 5 months or 4 months of a covid or maybe the starting the covid made sure that indian markets are not the same what they used to be prior to 2020 march the drastic change has come in this industry and a kind of a money for example let me tell you very frankly last year june if i was standing market was in a very very bad phase feb uh, if i do not know what date was it feb 27th or something last week of feb when russia had hit ukraine and everything crashed and then suddenly problems started coming in the european markets and the us markets and so on and markets starting falling down globally indian markets also went down nifty i think from 18800 700 somewhere went down to almost as low as 
the shares were crashed everything went one way but mutual fund is one industry in which money has been kept coming in we call them as a domestic investors also it's my money which i'm giving to them it's basically my money which i'm giving to them and on my behalf they are investing in what they are investing in the market so every year every month there is a systematic investment plan let's suppose you are for example you have created a mutual fund and you said every month i'll be giving you a certain sum of amount let's suppose even a 500 rupees that money would go and i'll continue the scheme for 5 years time let's suppose then money comes to the mutual fund ultimately objective of mutual fund is to invest in the market in the beforehand only you have selected that please invest my money in the auto sector or this sector or this sector that's a separate issue but that means mutual fund kept on getting the money the, they will kept in pumping the money into the market then we have some of the government schemes also which have opened up equity investments means earlier what used to happen when the market used to fall lic one of the big domestic investor those who used to come and buy now you have ample money which public has become active investor if i roughly speak out the numbers roughly let's suppose if the dmat opens dmat account were let's say about 1 1.5 crores prior to the covid or 2 crores let's suppose on the higher side if i am take roughly then we are five times of this number as of now everyone has become active because this was the only work which covid could tell them everyone is doing whether they are able to understand do not understand and because of that reason we saw a huge spike in the market in the next one one and a half years of covid and then ultimately market is market because there are people who who big people who run the show they took took the profit 2022 was very very bad in fact march 2023 was also bad because everyone kept selling their shares to book losses because it's a march adjustment which comes in i have gained some profit then i book a loss it it's not illegal it's legally i am doing so that they can avoid some profits and so so they kept selling in the march we went down the normal shares were in a very bad phase but the money kept coming in you did not stop your sip the problem would have come when the people start redeeming money means you ask your money then mutual fund have to sell the shares and then they have to give back money so as of now you are giving back money and last year june some of the analysts some of the uh, those who track markets very aggressively some of the big people they said that this could be the first time when public would make a money if they stay invested in the market for example if you invested in the june last year and you stayed invested the foreigners were taking away their money someone was asking me i don't know who asked yesterday i read the newspaper and she asked that for example that uh, 44000 crores some amount which have come in the last how many months right like, that's a foreign investors coming in i i do not know the exact data but could be a possibility every time every day now foreign investor is pumping in money now importance is understand one objective very clear please the price of the share would go up only when you buy if you do not buy nothing will go up even in fact let's say tomato price is there you stop buying if 70% of the public stop buying automatically prices will come down uh, no matter how much fundamental valuation we do over the period of a time no matter what we learn fundamentally we would be right we would be doing perfect valuation but it's a demand and supply concept if the demand is not there for any asset no matter how beautiful that asset is the purchase the purchasing power is not there or buying power is not there the prices of that asset will not go up so what mutual fund made sure last year or what public made sure was they kept investing maybe small maybe this but it was a frustration last year entire last year it was a frustration no return from the markets you buy at 100 rupees price becomes 95 you buy at 95 price becomes 90 whether it's a good company or a bad company then 80 75 60 and i i know some of the companies which fell from 225 to 45 also you need that capacity even if you believe i am right your belief goes away the moment price becomes half that i made the mistake means you start believing i have made the mistake no matter how much comfortable you are and by the time march came in i everyone around me would have felt even maybe i would have given a second thought that something is wrong either I, we are not able to understand what the market is doing or either the we are making a bad decisions or public is taking a wrong decisions but post that the fi's who left indian markets for the foreign investor they started coming in now i am holding my shares as it is you have to come ask for the higher price you have to come ask for the higher price couple of share for example which i discussed with you yesterday was it couple of examples which i discussed with you yesterday you call fill and so if you go back and check for around one and a half years they had not even moved one of the companies apnit for example it it i think one of my uh, known person would have bought it at 185 or 86 last year april mid somewhere the price did not come till this june 15th 
the price was 140 150 140 in fact if you would have invested in fd you would have felt i would have got some return in that it's a negative return 180 minus this 30 was almost a return of a 20 percent negative your portfolio shows but that he knows or maybe we know he would be knowing that might be a company is good etc whether you invested in reliance that fell from 2700 2800 to 2300 2250 whether it was bharti atel whether it was some it companies for example what you see now now for example it companies are doing bad because result season has is up and uh, there is a pressure in the us and the european market so these companies are doing bad but if the mutual fund stop buying and stop taking that money or fi stock buying any kind of a sector that sector will not move could be a possibility those who are buying now it's not again a investment wise please let's suppose i have given the money to the mutual fund invest my money in the it sector they start investing now it could be this month next month next month next next month five six months is the main and suddenly we find might be a day six months down the track by the time you finish off your exams and result comes in you'll find everything has become normal and the moment becomes normal first industry which picks up is the it sector so what you invested now can give you the return in the next one year maybe for six months it will not move or it will will be down 10 percent could be a possibility maybe for another let's suppose six months it is giving only 10 percent return but there could be a possibility a single month will come when everyone will say it sector is the sector we have to invest for example now the focus has shifted to the uh, the infra sector for example we are spending a lot of in infra defense sector for example the companies like hal bel that has shifted and they are increasing like anything whether only orders are coming and they are increasing one of the another companies which i want you to track in your own time please since we are moving towards uh, uh, the renewable energy side one of the companies is sjvn that's a government company which has been doing very good it was i think earlier was in the hydro what with water now it has moved to the solar also price has not moved that much the way it should have moved because it's a government company maybe government is holding a lot of stake but the way it is going with the orders if things go well 2030 could be a great year 2029 could be a great year but we have not seen that kind of year who knows five years six years down the track but this industry what i'm talking about mutual fund is they take that kind of a vision and if i tell you very frankly <coughs> we'll do some questions also in which i'll show you the data would be framed in such a way which was the actual period uh, around 1994 95 and 2005 and 6 in that period the kind of a return mutual fund would have given that was unimaginable in fact if i was also invested in the normal equities that period was one of the best periods of the equity markets in return wise because we were moving towards the globalization mutual fund was just coming up and they just started during that period of a time so they made a good amount of money mutual fund might not give you a money instead in six months one year two years it could possibility one one year is very bad one month is very bad six months are more bad one year is another bad then two years slight recovery comes in three years slight recovery comes in and then you might find in the third to seventh year or fifth to seventh year let's suppose seven year horizon i am taking in seventh year your return on an average exceeds a 15 16 percent annually it's not an advice please to invest in mutual fund you might find that as mutual fund sahi hai every every day uh, dhoni comes mr dhoni comes in or tendulkar comes in and these kind of big personalities comes in but they also give disclaimer the subject to market risk so my mine is with subject to market risk and educational purpose so i do not have anything to do i have a subject i have to explain because if i do not create that kind of motivation to you about the chapter the what is the use of the chapter <coughs> negatives are there which i'll anyhow keep telling you along with the time that what precautions you take when you overdose something whether it's a food whether it's any other item you tend to have a problem if for example i'm saying it again you have a stipend of 5000 you are investing or made a habit of a 10% of 500 1000 rupees it is not a big amount and return would not be big in the absolute terms but percentage terms you would know you would know that how actually i track that industry you will know the, com the sector which i have given to them what kind where they are investing in for example now the craze is about the uh, defense sector the renewable energy side so every the electric vehicle side for example so the funds are coming in new fund comes in because they know the choice of the uh, investors and what will happen actually you give them so much of a money it is not their own money you give them so much of a money and regular basis you give them the money they keep buying so either the price will go up or will stay stagnant if let's suppose a crisis happens when we call it as a recessionary mode happens or a slowdown happens in which you stop giving them money and you take back your money now they have to give back money that money is invested somewhere else they'll sell it off and give it back to you 
that is exactly a pressure comes in so mutual fund industry has been doing very good india was a very nascent stage till then because public has a very wrong opinion most of them equity markets is a gambling maybe it's a gambling because the things which have happened in 91 maybe or 97 or 2003 then we have lot of scams which happened then 2008 9 which happened so there are instances in which happened for example satyam happened on and off we find some companies going off the table and your money is gone so that that perception of the market is it's perfectly fine but that you will find with anywhere for example if i am dealing with 100 people out of that five people would be some something they'll 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 not be as good which i thought and maybe there is a cheating purpose which will happen the mutual fund industry knows they also make a wrong decision it's not they'll not make a wrong decision they also make a wrong decision but they know if they make a wrong decision they have the courage to exit out of the losses also the moment they feel that something is wrong they'll exit out which we generally do not have let's suppose i invested 100 rupees i might not invest at exit at 95 rather i'll invest more i'll not exit at 50 also i'll invest more but if they feel that 85 or 75 or 70 there is something wrong which we have done or company has a bad performance or there will be a uh, problem which comes out they'll exit from there then and there so they'll not stay back so mutual fund accordingly works in the market it's just a percept it's just a view that what mutual fund is it's an actually speaking it's an indirect way of investing i can directly invest in the market they invest on my behalf that's a indirect when i directly invest in the market i become the direct owner of the shares i become a shareholder of a company when i invest via mutual fund i become indirectly investor in the company the any kind of the returns from that the investment comes mutual fund has to return it back to me i'll i'll dictate everything don't worry just in mind create a picture out of it the money which you are getting or the market which has stabilized this this lot of thing you can give a credit to the general public they have invested they have taken some smart decisions and some greedy decisions what we take not mutual fund i'm direct saying that anyhow will have a repercussions also it's not that that cannot give you money that will give you money but you need to know that what rate i am investing what valuation i am investing how much money i am investing should i average that out or not <coughs> means I, if i purchase something if price falls a general tendency should i buy it or not these kind of things should be avoided because a falling knife we call it as a falling knife you never know how bad it will fall if it falls it keeps falling i am not talking about good companies the companies which you have seen in the history for 10 20 30 years time let's suppose you know the history bad bad phase can come for 6 months time 3 months time one year time which can happen to any kind of uh, industry it can be with any sports player also but you know the classes class which will move up for example reliance as of now when we stand reliance is one of the historic example you see which has given a ample return to the investors infosys let's suppose wipro let's suppose you cannot imagine the kind of return wipro gave it wipro uh, 10000 rupees of invested maybe in 1985 or 90s could be in in how many crores in how many crores you cannot even imagine that amount has become now by now they have given but the speed is very bad phase because whenever a recessionary recession has not come they are just predicting it will come it will come it will come which has not come the problem comes for example the problem comes in my income source automatically i have to cut down some expenses so the globally cut down expenses happens first on the it sector which comes out again we have a new ai coming in and some disruptions coming in the market so that will make new companies evolve maybe older companies will feel the pressure and so on but you know these it companies over the period have given return the reliance for example or sector for example the sector telecom sector could be one of the best sectors we have only three companies are there third even don't consider please idea do not even consider if i if i take a name to take a cross mark for that no matter i am investor or not in that so you have two companies for example jio and bharti as of now they are not increasing rate what do you think 5g will come for free to you for how long how long time that will come to you free? 5g 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 the 5g will make sure that you are spending at least 20 30% extra going one year down the track the next reactions are over rates will increase they are they should have increased now but mits industry is industry they don't want what of an idea to survive only because of that reason the rates are not increasing we are at the cheapest rate and you can find in spite of being the cheapest rate compare your telecom bill with the four year back or three year back bill it should be higher still we are at the cheaper rate because the three companies are there and even government knows if that what of an idea winds up that problem would be that monopoly would come in the market so that's why it is Uh, they're trying their level best, and even that is trying their level best to survive. And now, for example, you might be getting calls, sir. Shift to the 5G for free. Shift to the 5G for free. That's not a for free. There is no free lunch in this world. Remember this. No matter what I say, in financial market, there is no free lunch in this world. There has to be some cause. They'll make sure you get habitual about it. 
for example we used to go by a train flights were very easy earlier the deccan airline when i came i think first flight i would have taken at rupees 250 only the first flight of my life and some of my cousin went for 1 rupee also the scheme used to come sometimes but once you get habitual that train looks very odd you cannot go in the train the moment you start now as of now you might be traveling for article ship in the bus or auto the moment you get a private car or cab third day fourth day it becomes very difficult and then the problem comes in exactly same why i am telling you this is for example telecom sector could be one of the sector which could be the backbone of the industry now we are talking about the satellite telecom for example the company called these these names i am taking how mutual fund industry would be thinking how you should be thinking what fund i should be investing in so what mutual fund studies is the next 2 3 years down the track what will happen uh, one of the companies nelco what you heard the term would be nalco that is not nelco i am talking about i am talking about nalco nelco maybe you might not have heard that name again i am saying not to make sure that you invest and go back and invest in that company it's a tata company what they do is that maybe they are in the process of satellite based internet nalco 1992 or 93 that company would have framed that stayed at same level till 2020 and then suddenly the way it sector the satellite sector telecom sector is going that share price i think moved from 100 150 to 900 odd levels then again came back 500 now it's 750 or 700 i don't know it is nelco for example we do not know these companies the mutual fund who are in the market they would know these kind of companies it's not investment purpose for example if the technology fails if that company do not do well we would not be knowing unless until that happens but these portfolio managers because their income is dependent on that source they have to know it if you would be surprised if for example their salary let's suppose is 50 lakh or 60 lakh or 1 crore their bonus depending on the performance of the fund could be four time three time two times of the salary which comes in it's a it's a kind of a, a job which requires you to be alert at any point of a time and you have to make sure that the kind of investment you are doing justifies the return period means justifies the average return over a period of a time so mutual fund has given a kind of a lifeline to india the saving habit has was already there it was only maybe a gold maybe a real estate or maybe a silver or maybe some other classes bonds venture etc this has started evolving and the penetration rate which was very low that means out of 100 if 3 or 4 percent were the investor in the mutual fund they have started increasing if we move to the higher side let's suppose 15 20 percent you cannot imagine the kind of money we have in india and it is immaterial i am saying very frankly it's only liquidity which makes sure that market to survive provided the company justifies by that number for example i told you the results of some of the companies are bad markets will punish it markets will punish it's not they'll not punish the fall will come now for example one of the uh, just before you join there was a gst uh, came on uh, on gaming and the online companies i have a video also on the youtube you might if you go just a 15 16 minutes just watch that video please now it came this company called delta corp for example i am saying the delta corp is the company the price was i think 245 or 240 just before that news next day it went down to 180 levels odd so kind of a fall which happened it was part of nfno so it can fall any percentage 30 30 35% fell down now it cannot be possible that normal person can sell for example i am holding let's suppose i am not holder in that for example uh, as of now i don't know that time i was not the holder let's suppose i have 100 shares if i sell 100 share what the pressure will come on that share price nothing will come only when the big players sell then only pressure comes in and if mutual fund industry let's suppose was holding i'm just taking a rough rough guess if let's suppose they were holding and they find this 20% agst will kill the they kill the the clientele income etc so they will not take even a second thought they'll go and pump in for example if satyam scam happened they'll not take a second thought they'll sell pc jeweler scam happened 600 rupees price now is trading at 20 rupees or so the moment they find they, there was huge amount of fi's in that sector they'll come and sell we take time should we do it should we not do it should we do it should we not do it that's that's only public takes it they know it something has happened and they because they have they are working on the numbers day in day out they know if this impact comes this comes if this comes for example if 28% gst comes in the elasticity of a demand and etc concept they apply public psychology they apply they know what kind of public will come how much will come and so on 
although i can have different opinion my opinion was very different i have discussed in that for educational purpose for example maybe mutual fund industry do not have that opinion my opinion was basically those who have a habit of drinking they'll drink no matter what you do whether you increase the rate or do not increase the rate those who smoke itc for example every time government increases but those who have a habit they do it i do not do anything neither i gamble i have not seen go also to leave apart delta for for example if those who have a gambling it's not people like me and you go 5000 rupees of a stipe and we go there they'll not even give us the entry they'll say go by by looking at our clothes only they'll say bye so the clientele is very different how much different they play for enjoyment maybe a short term it is a hit second if that industry is there for example there could be some mutual fund who might think in this way i'm just telling you that this industry may take a hit for a small bit point of a time but could be a possibility that they will change their business model or something else because if the taxes makes that industry winds up entirely then no one would have survived then after gst things would have been very very bad so what i'm telling you is we take some lot of time as a general person you can have your opinion same way mutual fund will have opinion only thing is mutual fund is backed by the money that's it so that is the advantage of mutual fund i am telling you in the last one year see what she said was very right the fis are now coming in india and they are sitting on the money which they invested here some part they release for the fis because they have to book the profit also some you are holding for example i am holding will also release but this is the first time we are seeing fis sold still market were intact not not that kind of impact which came in and now when they come they have to come at a higher price they do not have a choice this was not the scenario before 2020 so that is something which india has made sure in the last few years and also some of the funds for example i think pensions and so on they have been also given some liberty to invest in the market which was not there earlier so you cannot imagine the kind of money would be there but i have my own concerns which are there that there has to be some money which should be in safe instruments because markets can destroy anything 2008 crisis at appropriate time and i'll discuss i'll tell you that why we were saved and why the global the problem came in because they had some liberty of investments and we had some restrictions we were saved in that 2008 crisis that will be a topic different because today's topic is mutual fund the whole story if i do not would have told you we could have still done the question my question will revolve around two things only it will be a, a monotonous which comes in that means you will not even come to know that do we require this kind of a knowledge or not every monday for example today is a monday you go with the economic times there is a paper called wealth it's only monday monday it comes i would advise you in your free time just flip over some pages you will understand what exactly they visualize about the economies what they actually see in the economies and that will also help you out in understanding the mutual funds they'll give you n number of name of mutual fund at least the naming convention will start coming in that what kind of a return they have given over the period of a time but it's for sure mutual fund will give you appropriate return if you stay invested in 7 years second thought that if i directly invest i might earn better than that but timing why mutual fund we require to investment you are a chartered accountant you do not have a time other than the audit you cannot keep the track of the market there could be doctors lawyers etc if for example doctor is doing and he is watching a market invest there and he is doing operation invest 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 cut it could be one of the ads also come these days i know which which advertisement comes in that doctor forgets his scissor in the the patient that that comes from one of the brokerages do what you are good at I means basically they are trying to tell what you are good at for example you are doing audit 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 what kind of audit you are doing filing a return gst return company other than company market fell down no i am saying market is such if it goes up still you will feel the pain it goes down still you will feel the pain provided because if you sell early made profits you will feel i could have done something that that anxiety level would always be there it's a 100% guarantee it's a human psychology and if that goes down night will not be able to sleep night strategy for next day what should we do average out this 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 for example it has to be there so it requires a lot of patience that's why mutual fund is something you invest you do not see it every day why people have made money in the real estate once you buy a land or a asset it's not every day you go what is the price of land has happened what is the price of a land you do not know but market is something in which whether you love or do not love you have to watch that so watching for your purpose watching for your understanding is fine but every day if you watch you will find some pain which comes in mutual fund tells you some number that's nav what i'll come because that is one part of the chapter they give you something but you will not feel a pain 
plus you know that we have not over levered what i have over leveraged have not been done what i have given them only that kind of a money they are investing in what is the worst scenario what will happen 100 rupees will become 90 or 80 but in your case it's possible 100 rupees might become 10 rupees also so that's a possibility that that pain is much much bigger and when you invest on your own there is hardly limitation borrow from the friend my stripe and your stripe and your stripe and your stripe and all stripe and that's done so you have to watch these out the delta corp example i just took for the purpose of saying that it's one is that how mutual fund two people would see fall the prices comes only when for example nazara also one of the companies is there which also fell but jumped up because management came very quickly that what is the impact on their revenue it went down 17% recovered back almost 15% delta corp no one came i don't know what they're doing behind these scenes what is happening it's a part of the fno so when it's a part of fno i'll derivatives chapter will speak that what exactly happens in that it's it's one of the most dangerous instruments we can have for the public i took that name because you should also be knowing that taxes what you learn for you it could be a normal increase of a tax rate but for companies it is not so market behaves so budget remains very important any kind of a policy of a government remains very important for example as of now i think delta corp operates only on the sea on land they do not have the permission to have casinos in india that's you know C C is C. Goa use Goa. Visualize because I have also not seen Goa. Goa in water, ship, inside ship, casino. Means I am just I like. Well, <laughs> you have to at least visualize because I know we do not have the liberty, but we don't have to tell the world that we have not been there. So the moment you visualize, you know that's only. For example, if law changes, let's suppose I am not in for or out for. I am just saying if law changes. then you might see that company again someone comes in so the mutual fund are the people or professionals those who come up very early also move out very early <coughs> now few things i'll summarize then i'll dictate then we'll move to the part mutual fund is a indirect way of investing i invest directly in the market returns would come directly to me i give the money to the mutual fund mutual fund invest in the market mutual fund will invest on your behalf will ask your preference that what sector i need to invest in what kind of a <coughs> uh com companies you cannot tell they'll tell the sector auto for example banking for example for example i am standing today i it's my own percept feeling that financials will do very good in the next one and a half years why reason because the kind of interest rates have risen the difference between the rising interest rates the rate at which the financial institutions lend and the rate at which they borrow the difference is huge and the difference will give a huge amount of a return the the margins with the banking sector or the nbfcs for example so there could be a possibility we might see a good jump up in these kind of a shares so when you go back home find out some of the companies for example it could be uh, some gic financing house for example i am just taking a name bajaj finance for example you don't have to invest bajaj finance could be india bulls uh, financing these are very uh, dangerous companies by the way when they fall they fall in a one way so but one and a half years could be of financials banking for example you have sbi you have pnb you have pnb has already risen for example the rise does not happen just for the sake of happening because you buy things will not increase it some big people have to buy and they only buy when they see a clarity in that could be a bank of baroda pnb for example icic bank axis bank financials for example so when you go you watch any of the companies watch any of the sectors watch their revenue what happens the big two three players pick it up from that industry you will know the trend of that industry which comes so mutual fund for example i told invest my money in the financials so banking sector they'll take the call whether they have to invest in india bull or etc or blah 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 they have to invest in pnb bank of baroda or icic bank axis bank or hdfc they'll only take the call it is not i'll take the call companies they take the call then mutual fund generates two type of a return for example if i invest let's suppose i'll dictate every point what i'm saying if let's suppose i invest in the market in share what two type what type of income i can generate from there one is dividend second second is if i sell i'll generate what capital gain similarly when you give your money to the mutual fund they will become the shareholder in the books of the company the dividend will come to them and if they sell the shares the capital gain will come they will return back that to you as per the guidelines of the sebi yes but obviously they charge some expenses etc some commission and so on but any kind of return what they make they are liable to return it back to you 
at least for the examination purpose maybe practically if you are holding mutual fund you will be finding only one income dividend income which comes to you but in theory what we'll do we'll have mutual fund made made capital gain mutual fund earned some dividend income they will distribute that income to you in your hand that is income but for the question purpose it could be possibility they'll say if they made dividend income if they distribute that they'll call it as a dividend distribution if they made capital gain they distribute to you they'll call capital gain distribution it does not mean that you have made a capital gain it's income for you but for the purpose of theoretical at least they'll name this kind of a structure which comes out so let's put down some <coughs> part in the theory and then we look at the question question will revolve around only two parts which i think today itself will get the hints about it so it's a new topic we are moving mutual fund a very very important topic from examination point of view mutual fund approximately 5 to 8 marks for sure i am taking just a rough number which was historical so i'm take assuming that they'll maintain at same level and upside you might have a 10 marks also which comes and practical theory both can come whatever is a practical oriented theory i'll take along with the chapter plus we'll have in the theory also at the end but whatever is required for the base building of practical i'll keep covering along with the chapter also so that it builds up your base whatever is the theory theory maybe i'll leave it for the end which is only a theory theory but that also becomes important part so will according divide otherwise my chapter will go for a toss i'll uh, forget the purpose of doing the chapter so first part if i draw the uh, mutual fund if let's you can see the diagram please before you draw let's suppose this is mutual fund this is investor and this is market any kind of a name of the companies i take in the class is only for educational purpose i am repeating again please when you invest in the market the return directly comes back to you that's called direct investment you give your money to the mutual fund mutual fund will make investment in the market they will generate some returns from here and that return will be returned back to the investor that's a indirect way of investing in the market that's mutual fund it is but obvious the kind of a return you can make in direct investment would might be much higher than the indirect investment provided whatever company selected they perform well otherwise mutual fund will make sure that average of 6 7 years you'll get decent return which comes out and in case you do not feel good about it then you can switch over the mutual funds now it also depends what kind of a mutual funds you are selecting i am i am a very less risky person i want my money to be invested in the only the nifty companies nifty 50 companies or maybe the sensex that's it i do not want high return average return could be 10 11 12 percent over the historical period if i see i want someone is slightly more aggressive he'll say you invest my companies mid size company mid cap companies which are middle size companies not the higher not the lowest in those kind of a companies return could be higher loss can also be higher because these companies are slightly riskier if they grow also they grow very well if they come down if suddenly the growth does not come in any of the companies then fall would be exactly on that side there could be third possibility which comes small cap which is the most riskiest segment which comes out it's maybe a what you call a high beta stocks could be most of them from this third segment which could be there for example it could be a 50 crore market cap company it could be a 40 crore 100 crore market cap company small size company they might have the capacity to grow to 1000 crore also but if something bad happens they might have a 100 crore as a 10 crore also which we come in so uh, accordingly you have to have that risk profile they give you every kind of option sector wise the size wise they can also give you the option that option is there you want equity debt only equity only debt or proportion of that accordingly do it the the nps i think one of the nps which advertisement comes if you look at they also i think some part invest in the market but they give you the preference how much you want debt how much you want equity and for these years you'll invest this is the kind of a return which you get so the money is kept coming in until the time money keeps coming in the market things will not fall for example property market why doesn't it go down because still we have huge population which do not own the house everyone has a dream of owning so they want to buy that out so the moment that buying will keep happening 
things will not fall down. Now, what to buy, which company to buy, which sector to buy, given specific time will tell you accordingly. So, mutual fund are experts of them. They, they know that if IT is not doing well as of now, maybe they, it's not time to move in IT. Maybe banking sector or financial is the time. The moment they feel IT time has come, they'll shift their money from here to here. Or funds become very aggressive in that kind of sector. So, that's uh, the indirect way of investing in the market. I'll dictate some points, please put down. First point. I'll dictate some points in that. Mutual fund collects. Mutual fund collects. Money from. Mutual fund collects money from like minded people. And invest the money in the markets. Mutual fund collects the money from like minded people and invest the money in the market. The money. Collected by the mutual fund, the money collected by the mutual fund from the investors is invested as per the preference. as per the correctness of the investor. Preference of the investor could be can be invested in for example index funds. You say sir invest my money only in the index funds nifty sensex can be invested in the index funds. invest in auto sector let's suppose auto it could be pharma pharma it could be let's suppose banking etc that means you give the sector preference and they'll accordingly invest your money or financials, what could be <laughs> next? We mutual fund generates two type of return. Now, please understand. Uh, give me a look up. Now, when you invest in the market, two type of return you will get. One is dividend, and second, when you sell capital gain. Similarly, mutual fund also will get two type of return. Mutual fund also will get two type of return because he is also an investor in the market. Uh, if he sells the share, it's a capital gain, and if he receives a dividend, dividend income. That money which they give back to the investor, the money that would be income for me. The if they if mutual fund has made dividend income, they'll distribute back dividend income. If mutual fund has made a capital gain, they'll distribute for the theory purpose capital gain to you. But in your hand, both will serve as what income only. So mutual fund can generate two type of return. Mutual fund can generate. Two types of return. One is dividend. Don't worry, you will get habitual to my writing. From my level, I am writing best to my knowledge. The problem is this is you know, the technology which is not letting me. Or you understand the feelings, bhavna. You'll get habitual of understanding the wordings. Mutual fund can generate two types of return. Now, it is an indirect way of investing in the market. What you invest by a mutual fund is an indirect way of investing in the market. Let's put down please. Next point. It is 
and indirect way of investing it is an indirect way of investing in the market next point mutual fund returns the return to the investor mutual fund returns the return to the investor <laughs> mutual fund returns the return to the investor now we can draw this graphical presentation you can look once before you copy the investor what has happened something has happened it's okay investor just call someone from out investor mutual fund market and higher return the screen is also telling you life should be colorful it cannot be black and white what you have i don't know you have started using those kind of pens or not give me time i think now try to copy that part please investor will gives money to whom gives money mutual fund mutual fund invests the invests in the market from market the generates return and this return returns back to returns back to <laughs> investor investor gives money to the mutual fund mutual fund will invest in the market market generates the return and return return back to the investor this is how exactly the cycle works this is exactly do you have mutual fund in acha you just started i don't know whether you have mutual funds in the fr paper or not it used to be there long back The investor gives money to the mutual fund mutual fund will invest the money in the market and it generates a return and returns back to the investor now one more part which roughly i want you to keep in mind so that when we go to the theoretical part remember formation of the mutual fund the like the company we for example in a case of a company uh, promoters infuse the money for example promoters give the money we have something called sponsors who come up and make the formation of a mutual fund now they will appoint the trust they will appoint the trust for india i think it works as a, under the trust and it could be investment company in the global markets or in the western economies but more or less it's a like a promoter sponsor will create a mutual fund but they will not run the show the people who run the show are the portfolio managers and that run as a asset management company amc is what we call it as some amcs are listed also i think hdfc amc is listed hdfc amc is listed what we have so the show is run by the portfolio managers and it is created by the sponsors like the company 
now just to do a rough comparison between the company and the mutual fund in the company and the mutual fund in the case of a company we have company would have a shares mutual fund will not have a shares for example if i invest in a company if i give them money they give something in return to me what they give exactly is shares similarly if i give to mutual fund they have to give me some written paper on it they are returning back those are called units so they call unit in the case of a mutual fund we have uh, units and in the case of a company we have a share we have share capital on the liability side of the balance sheet of the company in this case we have a unit capital now if i go if i want to buy or sell shares i should know the share price of a company they are listed similarly for the purpose of knowing that what is the value of my investment which is done it is called net asset value nav so you should be knowing a basic uh, difference in both of them in a company if i invest we are known as a shareholder in the mutual fund if you invest you are known as a unit holders is that fine let's draw a small uh, differentiation so that you know how exactly the numbers work so let's suppose invest in a company invest in mutual fund the categorization is you have shares you will have units this is share capital you will have unit capital share price net asset value it's per unit just write that name as of now this will be maybe our first topic in navy <coughs> shareholder and in this case will be known as unit holder <coughs> shareholder and unit holder nav is net asset value nav is net asset value now two type of questions would come from here how to calculate that two type of questions will be framed if i speak about frankly on the chapter we will be seeing maybe both today itself after that we'll just be seeing plus minus to some of the questions and so on but the variety of question would be there is one that calculation of net asset value per share i am using a net asset value roughly it's a per share that means if i have to buy for example today invest in some mutual fund i should know what rate i am investing if i want to exit a mutual fund i should know what rate i am exiting in the case of a company i know this is the share price i'll buy this is the share price i'll sell similarly in the case of a mutual fund you need to know nav that means one part of the chapter would be calculation of that nav second part of the chapter would be that what mutual fund gives back for example if i go to the diagrammatic presentation of the first part in this part two things will happen one will happen nav which is happening in the hands of mutual fund second would be mutual fund returns back something to me what is the return earned by the investor so my entire chapter will revolve around two things one the nav calculation second would be return you should keep in mind when i say a uh, nav calculation we are looking standing at mutual fund level for example what happens is let's suppose if this is the balance sheet what happens is mutual fund collects money like a company collects money similar way mutual fund collects money it becomes a unit capital here for example if 10 lakh rupees came here bank balance is 10 lakh the objective of mutual fund is not to buy plant and machinery furniture so on etc objective is to invest this money in investment let's suppose they have done investment of 9 lakh the balance here would be 1 lakh now as of now unit was nav was 10 per unit 1 lakh unit into 10 for example now next day the value of this can go up and go down accordingly my this valuation will change so initial investment was 1 lakh into 10 i gave the money to the mutual fund mutual fund and the bank balance they invested in the market now after investment in the market 
the value will fluctuate accordingly they have to tell me what exactly this number become so anyone who wants to enter one day two day 10 days one year six months one and a half years down the track you should be knowing what rate we are entering and exiting second important part is it's a, a requirement on the mutual fund industry 330 market closes i think by 7:30 or 8 in the evening on the website they start showing the navs of that date for example if i invest in the market if this amount is invested in the market it but obviously the share price fluctuates if the share price fluctuates the automatically the investment value will fluctuate the moment investment value fluctuates automatically my nav would fluctuate so by the end of the day you would know what exact nav is so that you can take a justified decision you know the rate to buy and sell what comes out that is exactly how mutual fund industry works so one part will be from the hands of this this we are covering second would be investors the return what is returned by the mutual fund investors would be calculating in his hand how much income i am earning or what percentage of return i am earning on my investment made it will take me approximately maybe i am saying again by the end of today's class you would be very comfortable what kind of a variety of a questions would be there then we'll keep changing plus minus mathematics this happens then accountancy is accountancy he invested somewhere he forgot his records records are broken etc he'll give missing figure question that is how our questions will keep increasing that that the but obvious how how will it increase the number otherwise two questions are there mutual fund return mutual fund return etc and then in the knowingly excitement he might make a erroneous question also that's also one of the and those questions also will cover i'll tell you what you can do best in the exam when these kind of question comes you have to live with it means even if you cry etc etc you cannot do anything you have to live with that that questions are made maybe it's a human error which comes in but yes instead do the justice they they automatically know that if there is a some error which has come they automatically award you marks accordingly which will be seen almost every chapter will have that kind of scenario and there could be few possibilities where we will have assumptions the assumption wherever it comes i'll try to make sure that if it justified whatever best possible assumption institute could have taken or if they have taken will take accordingly if we have a separate opinion i'll tell you this could have been the alternatives which comes out so first part we are covering from the practical side heading for the practical heading we are covering things first part let's put down net asset value this is the first practical heading net asset value nav total asset value minus outside liabilities divided by number of units total asset value minus outside liabilities divided by number of units now asset value would be calculated at a market price asset value would be calculated at a market price in case we do not know the market price then whatever is the book value would be the price of the asset for example cash cash will be cash as it is if they are invested in debentures if the market value of the debentures have fluctuated why it fluctuates will know i'll tell you briefly here briefly in the bond valuation aggressively or uh, in detail in the bond valuation will have so can the bond value change accordingly it changes if the interest rate changes so what i am telling you is in case the market price of the asset is available we'll take that value in case market price of the asset is not available we'll take the book value first point put down below that please first point you know this assets would be calculated at calculated at assets would be calculated at market price in case in case market price is not available
in case <coughs> market price is not available then they would be taken at book value second point outside liabilities generally you have two type of liabilities only one is expenses any outstanding which are relevant to this particular fund or scheme second would be they have purchased some shares for example i buy the share i have to pay to the broker practically nowadays they collect advance money or within one day because we have become t1 system today if i buy shares will come tomorrow itself but since we are doing in the theoretical world there could be possibility mutual fund has bought and there could be amount payable on those shares could be a possibility so two type of liabilities would come one is uh, expenses outstanding second is amount payable on shares done now let's look at the questions from this topic let's come back to the book please. in the book we'll see if someone is not having i'll show you the question don't worry in a day or two you'll get read question number 14 once from your side please Read question number 14 once from your side please. this is one of the favorite questions of the uh, this chapter which more or less in its own way format exactly same format it comes in or slightly changed way it comes in but nav calculation without doing the that nav calculation things cannot move for example let's suppose i have invested in the mutual fund i redeem my mutual fund so unless and until i know what rate i have sold off i cannot know my return so this calculation will become part of the every kind of a question which comes even if i have to move to second but yes if examiner want to reduce the uh, size of the question then it's okay he might give you entry and exit point but otherwise we'll be calculating this part <coughs> majority i'll read out with you please it will make your base framework for the entire chapter based on the following information determine nav of a regular income scheme per unit basis even if it does not say we'll be calculating <coughs> the nav per unit listed shares at cost 20 crores <coughs> cash in hand 1.23 bonds and debentures 4.3 of these bonds that means of, of the above not listed and quoted 1 crore 
अदर फिक्स्ड इंटरेस्ट सिक्योरिटीज एट कॉस्ट 4.5 करोड़ डिविडेंट अक्रूड 0.8 दिस डिविडेंट अक्रूड बेसिकली मींस इज व्हाट म्यूचुअल फंड हैज इन्वेस्टेड समवेयर कंपनी हैज अनाउंस्ड द डिविडेंड बट म्यूचुअल फंड हैज नॉट रिसीव्ड दैट मींस इट विल स्टैंड एज व्हाट इन द बैलेंस शीट ऑफ द म्यूचुअल फंड एसेट इट दिस विल स्टैंड एज एन एसेट देन बिलो दैट वी हैव व्हिच कम्स दिस इज अमाउंट पेएबल ऑन शेयर व्हिच इज अ लायबिलिटी एक्सपेंडिचर अक्रूड वुड बी अ लायबिलिटी 20 lakh shares one area of a mistake is this amounts are in what crore shares are units are given in what lakhs the listed shares were purchased when index market was 1000 present market is 2300 now understand the meaning of it please <coughs> i have purchased a property 1000 square feet i have purchased a property 1000 uh, square feet the rate of the area was 5000 rupees per square feet I purchased a property. I'm just taking a rough number so that you tell me the mathematics. Thousand square feet property when the price was five thousand rupees. What was my investment? Fifty lakh. The price now trading in the market is eight thousand rupees. What do you think my value will become? I purchased when the per unit square feet was uh, area was five thousand. Now the per square feet has become 8000 this value will become what 80 lakhs now look here the at cost when invested leave apart that x dividend and blah 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 i'll tell you in one of the questions that what it means is basically it does not have any dividend right included x and come dividend you would have done something so as of now it is irrelevant for you it does not mean anything cost 20 crore investment you purchased when the market was what 1000 now the market has become what 2300 in this particular question, since nothing else is mentioned, what could have been mentioned that we will see as we proceed. 1000 rupees, 1000 was the market, I invested 20 crores. Now the market has become what? 20? 300. What do you think my value would become here? Logically. With the given circumstances? 46 crore. Sir, how? 20 divided by 1000 into 2300. 20 crores I invested when, if I said 5000 was the investment, now property value is 8000 per square feet, you can give the amount to me. Similarly, 20 crore I invested when the market was 1000, now the market has become what? 2300. My investment will become 40. My value of the investment today is 46 crore. Then value of listed bonds and dementia is how much? 8. That means out of this 4, sir, this 4.3, one is down. It does not make me difference. The balance is how much? 3.3. So, maybe 3.3 value has become today what? 8. This value has become 8. Now, after that, there has been diminution of 20% in unlisted bonds and debentures. That means value of unlisted bonds and debentures have fallen. So, they can fall, they can fall. If the interest rate fluctuate, we will see in the bond valuation completely. In this chapter, slightly at appropriate time, I will include that how will the change in the interest rate value of the bond changes. In this case, he is saying, question is God, whatever he says, you believe. Whether you love or do not love, like or do not like, he says 20% fall, a 20% fall that means 1 crore value will become what? Point, point 0.8. This will become anything else he has given. Other fixed interest securities are at what? Cost. Even if it does not say, we will assume them to be at what? Cost. Now, what left here? Dividend, uh, cash. Cash is idle asset, same amount dividends will be same what basically i have done is i have done nothing whatever he said i have just remodified those figures 20000 becomes 2300 so my 20 becomes 46 crore cash as it is listed bond and debenture he said what value 8 unlisted 20 percent decline means 1 crore will remain to 0.8 and then he had uh, the other fixed interest securities he said is a cost even if it does not say i would have taken it at what cost and rest I have expend uh, the dividend will be same what is my total value comes here assets this is total assets value this is rough way of doing exactly same way you will do revision at home please 60 61.33 crores the liabilities total how much it comes 6.32 and 0.75 6.32 and 0.75 how much 
7.07 the a is my asset this is my liability net value minus of this 54.26 what crore it's not net total total value is total net asset value is 54.26 crore how many units i have 20 lakhs remember 20 lakh so either divide by 0 0.20 do not divide by 20 it's 0 0.20 crores in crore we have a 70 lakhs we have five zeros 54.26 divide by 0 0.20 lakh that's the answer is 270 this this is the eight marks question 271 exactly same we will be doing and this type of a question if comes it's a blessing because they will make sure that you save time for rest of the question by doing this and do not be in overconfidence at home when you do this is the way of practice actually i have done because in format when i will make it will take maybe two three time three times of what we have done now because format you have to completely do that we have to do in the exam so we'll learn the way of writing in the exam the homework or any kind of a work when you revise should be done this way what value it has become what value it has become what value it has become so they they these type of questions have been repeating in the exam or period of time nowadays what we started is slightly changing the way of asking the questions that's it so let's put down solution number 14 solution number 14 Calculation of NAV per unit. Rupees would be in crore. Particulars, basis, amount. Assets. First asset was listed shares. Book value, market value. Book value, market value, listed shares, market value, the way of doing will be 20 crores when the index was 1000, now the index is 2300. Next part, cash in hand. Cash in hand would be? book value 1 point one point two three listed bonds and debentures book value market value market value he has given the value how much he gave he said value of listed bond and immature is how much 8 crores Eight crores. unlisted bonds and immatures Book value, market value. Book value, market value. Market value. Please remember, unlisted bond and debenture, any asset can have a market value. Property has a market value. Unlisted, he only gave. Why that fluctuation came, we'll see later on. He said 20% is the diminution in the value of the unlisted bonds and debentures. Why it has happened? That's our task, not for at least as of now. Market value. that becomes basically I'll write 1 into 80% of it 0.80 
नेक्स्ट व्हाट वी हैव अदर फिक्स्ड इंटरेस्ट एंड अदर फिक्स इंटरेस्ट सिक्योरिटीज अदर सिक्योरिटी how much this was book value he said take it at book value 4.5 and next part we have is what dividend accrued book value point eight point eight टोटल एसेट्स टोटल एसेट्स सिक्सटी वन पॉइंट थ्री थ्री नाउ वी हैव लाइबिलिटीज now we have liabilities two type of liabilities you had what amount payable on shares what was the amount 6 point and expenditure accrued or outstanding what is it expenditure accrued How much is that? Point total. Seven point. Seven point zero seven. Total net assets value. The word is total net assets value. In exam, we will show exactly the same way, please. Total. Yes. वैल्यू ए माइनस बी फिफ्टी फोर पॉइंट टू सिक्स करोड़ एन ए बी पर यूनिट Two six crore and make sure you divide by point. It's a point, sir. Why point? The units were in lakh. The units were in lakhs. So if you convert this lakh twenty lakh in crore, we have a seven zero. It becomes point two zero. It becomes point two zero crores. How much it becomes? Two seventy one point. This is my answer. Which comes out? Two seventy one point three. We cannot expect to lose marks in this type of question, please. We cannot expect to lose marks in this type of question. Even a clerical mistakes would be a, a crime, at least in these type of questions. Is that fine? We'll take an energy nap here before we move to the slightly different type of questions.
Let's start. <clears throat> Let's quickly look up one more question of the similar type. Slight change in that would come. This was question number 14. Question number 26. Read once, please, quickly. I'll show you the first line, then I'll show the data below. Based on the following data, estimate NAV per unit basis of a regular income scheme. Now, one thing why you would find exactly same data, same question but there would be a one point which will be different now when i do a similar type of a question let's suppose <coughs> i'll keep telling you that exactly same as 14 or exactly same as this one this point is new so maybe if i forget when at the moment i say this point is new it's your responsibility highlight that point in exam when you revise revise any one of them that point has to be seen so once read from your side i'll tell you what exactly is the new point here Read out once, please. It appears exactly same. So let me read out along with you. Listed share at cost forty lakhs, cash in hand two point seven six, bonds and debenture at cost eight point nine six. Of these bonds not listed and quoted two point five. Other fixed interest securities nine point seven five. Dividend accrued 1.95, amount payable, expenditure accrued. No doubt on that, sir. First difference point which has come here is current realizable value of fixed income securities of rupees 100 is 96.5. It means the value of 100 rupees has become 96.5. Again, I am saying do not stress too much why it becomes at appropriate time. In this chapter only, I'll take and balance part will be bond valuation. In fact, first hour of a bond valuation will tell you exactly why the values of the bonds or these change. What we know is 100 rupees becomes what? 96.5. 96.5. Then tell me if 100 becomes 96.5, what would be the value of this 9.75? Roughly do it. 9.75 was with respect to 100. If it has become 96.5, basically 96.5 percentage of the value will remain. How much it comes? 9. 408 or 41 you can round off to three or two decimal places depending on rupees are in lakhs or crores so 9.408 or 402 or 9.41 uh, which comes out basically what has happened 100 rupees becomes 96.5 the value of this will fall 9.75 will become 9.41 number of units 2,75,000 all listed shares were purchased time when market portfolio index was 12,500 on the NAV date, market portfolio index is 19,975. Now it means 12,500 rupees has become what? 19,975. It means your 40, 40, 40 lakhs have become what? 63.92. 63.92. Now next part, there has been diminution of 15%. In unlisted bond and debenture valuation, unlisted, not listed, 15%. This is not listed, decline of 15 percentage. Tell me the value of this. 2.12, 2 Listed bond and debenture carry a market value of 7.5 lakh.
सेवन पॉइंट फाइव लाख लास्ट पॉइंट इज इंटायरली न्यू फॉर यू ऑपरेटिंग एक्सपेंसिस पेड ड्यूरिंग द ईयर ऑपरेटिंग एक्सपेंसिस पेड ड्यूरिंग द ईयर दिस इज द रीजन आई एम कवरिंग अप दिस क्वेश्चन फॉर एनी गेस्ट वर्क कैश शुड बी सब्रैक्टेड नाउ टू ओपिनियंस आर देयर कैश शुड बी सब्रैक्टेड और कैश हैज ऑलरेडी बीन सब्रैक्टेड Practical life, the problem does not come. We know whether cash has been adjusted or not. In theory, how would you take a call? In this question, it gave you balance of 2.76. Nothing is mentioned. It's a opening balance, closing balance, so on. It means this cash we will always assume has already been adjusted. That is just for information's sake. Now, sir, how would we know the language? Look at the language now. Look at the language of. Uh, look at the. Let me come to eleventh question first. and whenever i compare questions you can benchmark accordingly that we have compared such type of question 11th question language i am reading a mutual fund made issue of 10 lakh units of 10 each on january 1 2008 january 1 2008 how much money was collected 10 lakh into just of work 10 lakh into 10 money came in then he would have done what he purchased investments equity government government this total amount spent balance left cash cash left then something happened during the year i am not reading because this question will cover at appropriate time find out the nav per unit given that operating expenses paid during the year again same type of language now tell me in this question should i adjust or not adjust it's a clear cut indication i should be adjusting because opening balance given investment done and then he says over the period of a time i know it 26th question what we were doing in 26th question what we were doing he did not specify that means these could be the balances which have been the closing date now if i look at 27th again look at 27th question on 1 4 2012 issued 20 lakh unit of 10 per unit 20 into 10 how much money came 200 lakh 20 into 10 200 lakh money came initial expenses relevant were 12 lakh that would reduce then he invested somewhere 185 lakh that means out of 200 lakh 12 lakh some expenses happened initially 185 lakh he would have invested i am not reading anything further then i read here fund management expenses of the month of april 8 lakh of which 10% was in arrear that means 90% would have been paid my objective is should i adjust in the cash balance or not you tell me look at the language first he is collecting money when which date First April, anything happens, he will clearly mention that chronology. That means if something is happening after that, he is mentioned that subsequent event which is happening. So I'll be adjusting, which is not the case in the question number twenty-six. I hope you understand, please, difference. It's not his opinion was wrong or your opinion is wrong. It's actually institute should have mentioned closing balance or not. But by default, at some places, by looking at the language, we have to make a call whether it's a opening balance or a closing balance. in the case of opening balance it will be clear indication this amount came this was the expenditure this amount came this was the expenditure and so on so in this case what we have the if opening balance is given he'll give the money was collected and then this subsequent events have taken place in that first task would be to calculate closing cash balances now let's move back to here that means i'll take this value as what 2.2.76 this will be same 1.95 tell me the total assets value Tell me the total assets value, please. Eighty-seven point six six five. And tell me the liability value. Fifteen point. Difference of these two would be my. Seventy-two point three six five divided by what? Two points. These are in lakhs only. Divided by two point seven five. Divided by two point seven five. We'll get NAV. Twenty-six point three one four. It's okay. Three one four. This one. Now can we solve it? Format you know it. 
try to make one your own and not just so that you get habitual about it is that fine let's put a star mark in front of this point please and make as a comparative analysis question 11 language or question 20 number 7 that could be the comparative language you can have solution 26 calculation calculation of rupees are in lakhs First was listed shares we had. Forty crores, twelve thousand five hundred ninety nine seven five. This came sixty three point Listed bonds and debentures, unlisted bonds and debentures, other fixed interest securities. Dividend accrues. Tell me the values, uh, cash, how much you have? 2.76. Listed bonds and debentures. He gave value, I think, 7.5. He mentioned in the paragraph 7.5. Next, what we have? Unlisted bonds and debentures. It will 2.5 into what was the decline? 15. Can I write into 85 percentage? 15 is the decline. Balance left is 85 percentage. And you told me value as 2. 2.125. Other fixed interest securities was 9.75. This was 9.75 divided by 100 into 96.5. Why does it change is not my today's task. 9.75 divided by 100 into 96.5 how much do we get uh, you told me 9.41 or 408 something that's fine both of them are fine and then we have 1.95 cash is king cash is as it is total total assets 
Then you told me here 87. Maybe you have missed out cash, I think. 87.665. Please form a habit of working on the calculator. If you do not respect the calculator here, calculator will not respect in the exam. May after November, number after May. So you have to fall in love or make calculator fall in love with you. Liabilities. Liabilities. Amount payable on ships. Expenditure accrued thirteen point five four one point seven six. Total liabilities. Fifteen point three. I'll increase this screen once I've done things, don't worry. So what I'll do here is now this is my data, what I have. Now what we can do is it's 87.665 this uh, next will be total net assets value. Total net assets. And then we have NAV per unit. Difference of these two. You will tell me the direct number. I think 72.36. It's in lakh. Figures are in lakhs. And this will be 72.36 lakh divided by. 2,75,000 I think you had uh, the units divided by 2.75 What number do we get? 26 26.31 26.31 This is the first variety of a questions what we have. Now increasing this variety to the second, I will take a small note again. This question we were doing in the hands of mutual fund, let's suppose a Navy calculation. Now anyone would know if they are selling their mutual fund, they will get 26.31 with some adjustment if question says otherwise this amount you will get or if you want to buy you have to spend this much. The rest of the any, any additional part that some extra amount has to be given or not there would be load factors which comes in which we will see at a, a subsequent time so this is the rate at which you can sell and buy as of now you can sell and buy now let's go to another note if you copied that let me know i'll make a computation of a return now that means in the hands of the investor in my hands and again the formula i would love you to be able to do on your own as an investor, next notice, second note we have of the day, computation of return. This is in the hands of the investor. Do not copy once, help me out. NAV is net asset value, 
पर यूनिट एन ए वी जीरो एन ए वी जीरो मीन्स स्टार्टिंग आई एम पुटिंग दैट एज अ टेन लेट सपोज लेट मी टेक अ रफ नंबर बिफोर आई पुट द डेटा लेट सपोज टेन रुपीज यू इन्वेस्टेड एट द एंड वैल्यू ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट बिकेम इलेवन रुपीज टेन रुपीज इन्वेस्टेड एट द एंड वैल्यू बिकेम इलेवन रुपीज यू हैव नॉट सोल्ड इफ यू सेल फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू सेल वॉट इज योर गेन वन रुपी परसेंटेज रिटर्न टेन परसेंट आई होप यू आर एबल टू टेक टेन रुपीज इन्वेस्टेड इलेवन इट बिकम्स इफ यू सेल इट बिकम्स इलेवन माइनस टेन डिवाइड बाई टेन वी कॉल दैट इज अ रियलाइज रिटर्न दैट मीन्स यू हैव रियलाइज आई परचेज समथिंग एट टेन एट द एंड वैल्यूएशन बिकेम इलेवन आई हैव नॉट सोल्ड रिटर्न इज स्टिल हाउ मच परसेंटेज टेन वी कॉल इट इज अ अन रियलाइज रिटर्न दैट मीन्स माई इन बुक्स वैल्यू हैज इंक्रीज दिस इज वन पार्ट नाउ लेट सपोज आई इन्वेस्टेड टेन एट द एंड वैल्यू इज इलेवन एग्जैक्टली इलेवन ड्यूरिंग द पीरियड दिस वन ईयर द म्यूचुअल फंड हैज गिवन मी फोर्टी पैसा एज अ ट्वेंटी पैसा एज अ डिविडेंड एंड फोर्टी पैसा एज अ रिटर्न इन द कैपिटल गेन दैट मीन्स टोटल अमाउंट दे हैव डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इज हाउ मच पैसा पॉइंट सिक्स फोर्टी इन वन एंड ट्वेंटी इन वन फॉर्म टोटल आई डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड सिक्सटी सिक्सटी पैसा इज कॉल्ड माई रियलाइज रिटर्न एंड टेन रुपीज बिकमिंग इलेवन वन रुपीज माई अनरियलाइज रिटर्न इफ आई ट्राई टू आस्क यू वॉट इज योर टोटल रिटर्न विच कम्स आउट एज अ लेम एंड वॉट विल यू से इलेवन रुपीज माइनस टेन इज वन रिटर्न प्लस वॉट पॉइंट सिक्स टोटल बिकम्स वन प्लस वन पॉइंट सिक्स डिवाइड बाई टेन हाउ मच परसेंटेज रिटर्न सिक्सटीन अंडरस्टैंड दी फॉर्मला हाउ डू आई क्रिएट दैट मीन्स टेन आई इन्वेस्टेड इट बिकेम इलेवन इन बिटवीन टू टाइप ऑफ इनकम वॉज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड डिविडेंट एंड कैपिटल गेन सर हाउ डज कैपिटल गेन कम्स वेन आई एम नॉट सोल्ड समथिंग इट इज नॉट यू हैव नॉट सोल्ड समथिंग म्यूचुअल फंड वुड हैव मेड सम इनकम म्यूचुअल फंड मेड सम डिविडेंड इनकम डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड दे कॉल इट एज अ डिविडेंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन म्यूचुअल फंड माइट हैव मेड सम कैपिटल गेन दे डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड दे कॉल इट एज अ कैपिटल गेन बट इन योर हैंड्स बोथ ऑफ देम रिमेन वॉट इनकम दैट मीन्स आई रियलाइज सिक्सटी पैसा इन हैंड एंड वन रुपी इज माई इंक्रीज इन दी वैल्यू सो माई एंड वैल्यू इज बेसिकली फोर्टी पैसा प्लस ट्वेंटी पैसा प्लस इलेवन माइनस टेन दैट्स अनरियलाइज सिक्सटी इज रियलाइज वन इज अनरियलाइज डिवाइड बाई वॉट 10 NAV. That means my formula becomes dividend distribution plus capital gain distribution plus NAV one minus NAV zero divided by what? NAV zero. I hope you are able to make a sense, please. It's basically assume your money you've invested and what amount you are getting back. Let's put down, please. I'm drawing this rough diagram so that you understand. Then I'll put the formula. During this year, dividend distribution happened. Point four zero. <laughs> return <laughs> formula would be dividend distribution capital gain distribution dividend distribution plus capital gain distribution plus nav1 minus nav0 divided by nav0 into 100 assuming this example was made exactly as it is it would be 0.40 Plus eleven so you realize sixty pesa plus one and this you said how much sixteen percentage return actually this dividend distribution and this part is known as realized return and between n a v one and n a v zero is unrealized i can call it. realized means what has been received unrealized what is in the books you have and please i'm i'm saying very careful the nomenclature of dividend distribution capital gain distribution in your hands is income only it's only what they have distributed from their side which is fun so nav1 minus nav0 is nothing but unrealized unrealized
done now i'll take up small question on this first then i'll merge bigger question what we've done return calculation with this part which is again 8 to 10 marks the first question which i'll take is a very small part if you copy that part a very small part i'll take which is come back to it's not that small question do not come but now i do not expect them to ask they used to be a history it has they used to be historical in nature but few things have to be learned from these smaller parts i am sent person sure 20 30 percent students still make a mistake question number five i am doing please question number five we are doing a mutual fund and don't worry we do plus minus pages 5 37 26 48 47 20 29 i'll do this way so that you do not sleep i do not sleep in the class else if you do you know fifth after fifth six will come after six seventh will come you can imagine if you know the movie what will happen in my case you'll not cannot even know what will happen which question will come after what keep guessing at your level best at mutual fund that had net asset value of 20 in the beginning of the month its word is month very clearly made an income and capital gain distribution of 0 0.0375 and 0 0.03 per share during the month and then ended the month with the NAV of 20.06 calculate monthly return this this is a very very important part please sometime question will give you data of a month and ask you to calculate yearly return you have to be very careful you might from your side would have done right but at the end out of the 8 marks you might find 7 or 6 marks only that will be only you have not converted the month into year in this case you are not, not asked return formula will not change return formula will be same dividend distribution plus capital gain plus NAV 1 minus NAV 0 divided by NAV 0 which comes out it's only whatever return comes month will come if to convert in a year we are not going to any kind of a mathematics there could be some uh, dis some not disputes some different alternatives how to convert into yearly which i'll show you in one of the lengthier questions so in the in in these type of a question smaller if he says month return is one percentage yearly return would be 12 percentage that's it nothing has to be done so in this case my formula would not change i'll apply the formula exactly as it is just be clear when you calculate the last part of it solution 5 Competition of return. Dividend distribution plus dividend distribution plus capital gain distribution plus NAV 1 minus NAV 0. How much was dividend distribution? 0 0.0375. Dividend Tell me the numerator value, how much numerator value comes? 0 0.1275 0 0.1275, total becomes? Five percentage per month. Now, in this case, your answer would end here. I'll do a seva part. Anything which I make under these kind of a clouds, the part of a seva which comes out. It's it's not part of the answer here. Return per annum. If I would have asked, return per annum. In 
such type of a question straight forward answer should be 0 0.6375 percentage into 12 divided by 1 that's it Twelve divided by one, seven point percentage per. Nine. Those who have done can read question number twenty-seven. Put a single star in front of that. Question number twenty-seven. And you can do one thing now, for example, what I expected you, what I told you in the first class was, let's suppose this you are doing here, whatever page number of a register is there, you can write here, let's suppose on the register you have written page 1, 2, 3, 4 on the top, you can write, this is done on page number 15, for example, so that when you come back after uh, one month time, because I tell you very frankly what will happen, few days extraordinary energy would be there. after. For example, now I today I gave you 10 minutes break, everyone came in 8 minutes time, 7 minutes time only came. After that, I will give you 10 minutes, you will take 11 minutes. I will give you 12, you will take 15 minutes. It's easy, you will go. It's, it's the normal psychology I am telling you. After that, one week later, energy would be there, second chapter starts, slight energy. Third class, one day by chance you became absent, I am just telling you one day. It's okay, live stream also, we can see from home. Leave now that two three days recording also we have a facility 50 percent leave that happens by the time third chapter reaches first chapter mutual fund you will be able to recall second chapter okay by the time fourth chapter will come a month or one and a half whatever time gets over by that time which chapter subject should not happen this way. This I am telling you very frankly. I have noticed it. 10 minutes break. You come in the evening batch. They were also same energetic when the starting happened. Now I give them 12 minutes break and they will take 15 minutes. Today you came in 8 minutes. I was surprised. I did not even get the chance to have the uh, check what everyone has brought today. I will not eat every day from your tiffin. Please don't worry. It is not you stop coming tomorrow. Some of you have to come. And if you, I love idli, if you bring idli, it's perfectly fine for me. What I am saying is, keep this energy. In fact, you have to come for your own sake. One important point which I tell in the class, although these are the, you have the facility of a look back home, some classes and so on. But the moment you will assume that in the mind, your motivation will go. Second important part is, yes, someday it might happen. You have been late night party once in a blue moon out of the stipend which came, you went out. You, you went outside and had the party, it's okay. You come at morning 6.30, 7 o'clock, 7.30, no matter what time you come. You should not feel odd, I will not feel odd. Because I tell you why, because one day lapse or one hour lapse, it will make a huge difference. If you have a lapse of one hour, let's suppose someday I came at 7.15 or 7 itself for example I came, but I would be able to cover it up. Reason being, in the class itself know that this was the flow, maybe in between I am saying I am not able to get so let's suppose I try my level best that when I come 10 minutes or 5 minutes I do the warm up exercise that does, do not make a habit that you will come 10 minutes late only always. So I do a exercise in such a way I try my level best that we cover up what we have done so that you get in the normal flow. If half an hour you missed by chance I have taken some concept let's so, suppose in that scenario still do not feel bad at least you are getting hint that I am taking some names means you are doing. If you take a break of a 2-3 days and then you come back then it could be a challenging part. You will you'll miss out the uh, beauty of the uh, live or online, means it is a regular basis. Otherwise, you have n number of facilities you can do. I do not want you to get laps in that front, although even if you want, even, even if you will watch at home the recorded lecture, still you will be same energetic, it is not so. But I want since you have taken the pain to wake up for few days now, Take that pain, once in a blue moon, for example, festival season comes in between and you are going home, it's perfectly fine, there is no problem at all. That already I will take care, I will have the provision of that festive, festive season which comes in the Hyderabad and so, the kind of festive seasons we have. 
so that i'll already taken care of but from your side i want that kind of a dedication should be there you are coming for your sake for my sake only come those who can bring the breakfast otherwise there is no need so my sake don't worry anyhow i have to come so what i'm saying is keep that momentum do not over exaggerate means whatever uh, feeling you get about the subject any subject it's not about my subject i'm saying any subject when you join try to finish off with sincerity and the way of writing this number is only because after a, a month time or two months time if i for example will have a concept of a test for example for this batch evening we had yesterday for example we have a test in that for example i tell you that these two chapters will be for the test available do i'll upload them them on the uh, drive what you get what access what you'll get but that is your own time even for that when you attempt the test for example they are uploaded you download at least you should know which chapter i am preparing where the question was done it becomes easier for you because it cannot be that you have a 57 register and it search that this was done or not second important part it becomes is the moment you write the page numbers you know that i have covered these questions do not let those piled up till the end that means let's suppose you have any of the unticked question it could be possibility that you have not covered it or maybe by chance missed out so at the do not leave it at the end of the course i'll see at once it will be a problematic chapter ended i should have at least these questions ready with me if anyone is not done then one weekend sunday or saturday whichever comes in i'll finish that off this will help you because otherwise subject is very lengthy by the time we end the course you might have the questions running in 800 900 1000 i don't know how many numbers you'll have it will be very difficult go back and then re remind what was the question what was the objective and how should i have done so make sure that it is for you you are doing a activity that you cover up everything although at the end of the chapter i take a <coughs> provision i i take a, a stock taking that i have covered everything because i keep writing that this was covered in this class this was covered in this class and so on but from your side you should also know that you have covered for example fifth is covered in by chance you do not take it out at the end you might feel that we did not cover it so that lapse should not be there at the end of the chapter before you go to the new chapter please make sure you have taken the stock taking of that now let's read question number 27 important question which is important question this course is tough i know see a course is not easy it's tough because it requires a kind of a time and dedication from you which is unimaginable no matter anyone says it's a easy course etc we can do it's not possible the sacrifices more than the study hours is the kind of different sacrifices you have to do continuous basis means you cannot have that liberty of even a 10 days time in between a 6 months period that you can spend one for me the relaxation can come i'll finish off i might give a, a break after that batch i might not take in the next batch for a month time or so but for you its liberty is not there either audits will take your time gst this return that return etc return stipend still remains 5000 only 27th question very <coughs> easy question interesting two times have been asked in exam i think <clears throat> take two minutes time you read once then i'll read out with you take two minutes time you read once <coughs> then i'll read out with you this question ultimately net answer what he, what he required what is the requirement return now look up please how do you framework your mindset what we have to do if you look at the last i am not read i'll read it don't worry the question is asking about the return at the last that's fine 
return i know my return is investors point of view i need nav 0 i need nav 1 if by chance they have distributed dividend and capital gain both i need in this case i think he has distributed both number of units you know in the first line nav 0 you know in the first line what rate he invested first line gives you then in between first paragraph he would have given you that there was a distribution of the income that's also i can do nav 1 is not mentioned anywhere now my task remains is i have to calculate nav 1 because till the time i calculate he is asking annual return data is one month he is asking 12 months return data is one month that means whatever answer i'll get i'll get one month then i'll convert to 12 months for that one month i need nav 1 nav 0 in dividend distribution capital distribution and number of units the he has given 100 even if i don't have that will not make much difference because his number of units opening and closing are same nav 0 i have dividend distribution information i have capital gain distribution i have the nav 1 data is not there but he has given some data by which i can calculate my nav 1 to calculate nav 1 i have to first work upon is the cash balance because it is starting with the opening cash balance that means in these type of a question your first prima facie task would be whenever opening balance is given and you are arriving at the closing balance the first task would be cash balance then you are closing nav then once you have closing nav then things will become easier so i will read out with you i need the help on the calculator please i need the help if you are able to do verbally putting on the paper would not be tough at all look up he says on 1 for 2012 20 lakh units were issued at 10 per unit how much amount <coughs> 20 lakh into 10 how much amount 200 lakhs initial expenses 12 lakh 200 minus 12 180 188 it invested the fund so raised in the capital market instrument to build a portfolio of 185 lakh that means investment is done 185 200 lakh collected 12 lakh expenses happened 185 lakh he invested so basically my opening cash balance how much you have 3 lakh is my opening cash balance i'll put 3 here you do not put it please i'll put it next part during the month of april it disposed of some of the instruments costing 60 lakh for 63 two things have happened cash inflow of how much 63 capital gain of how much 3 lakh keep that mind capital gain 3 lakh 60 lakh uh, 63 lakh is your cash inflow so you have 3 lakh cash plus what 63 cash came in capital gain you keep in mind and use the proceeds in purchase of the securities for 56 inflow outflow outflow minus 56 3 lakh cash balance plus 63 lakh cash balance because you sold something minus 56 purchase was done fund management expenses expenses these are relevant to the fund happened for the month of april 12 were 8 lakhs of which 10 percent was in areas how much cash outflow cash outflow is 7.2 minus 7.2 and outstanding expenses point 8 so two things are in your mind 3 lakh capital gain and point 8 outstanding expenses then he says in the april the fund earned dividend amounting to 2 lakhs income of two of the fund any cash inflow if the dividend income is there either it could be outstanding or it could be received we will assume it to be received 2 lakh we received 2 lakh this 3 was opening cash balance 63 sale of investments 56 purchased 7.2 expenses 2 dividend next line is very important highlight that please distributed 80 percent of the realized earning area of a mistake is this 80 percent of realized earning now your realized earning are two income one was three lakh capital gain second is two lakh dividend its dividend is not only realized realized it was mutual fund three lakh capital gain was realized two lakh this total income five lakh how out of that how much they distributed how much 80 percent minus cash outflow minus four sir what about the balance one lakh <coughs> you do not have to get worried understand the reason how much income they earned dividend income 2 lakh is it included in cash balance it is included in cash balance yes and second what they earned 3 lakh capital gain is it included here that means cash balance increased by how much 5 lakh they are paying how much 4 that means 1 
what they have given it back to you in your hand realize this 4 lakh assuming totality realize this 4 that remaining unrealized is part of what balance cash balance if it is part of cash balance then automatically this will be part of what closing NAV I hope you are getting my point do not get confused on that please they earned 3 lakh as capital gain 2 lakh as dividend 5 lakh increase their cash balance out of that 80% they are distributing that means 4 lakh they are distributing that 1 lakh remaining is still part of the NAV 1 calculation so basically 3 lakh was opening 63 lakh inflow 56 outflow 7.2 outflow outstanding I am leaving as it is uh, dividend was 2 and this was 4 on 34 2012 market value of the portfolio is 198 this will help me in calculation of NAV 1 my cash part is over tell me the my cash balance what comes point eight. point 0.8 is the cash balance this has come now verbally tell me NAV calculation portfolio value how much <coughs> cash balance point 0.8 any outstanding expenses point 0.8 so my total NAV would be 198 portfolio, 0.8 lakh the cash balance, minus 0.8 outstanding expense, what comes? 198 divided by how many units you have? 20 lakh. What will be your this? How much will be your NAV? 9.9. .9. This comes 9.9. .9. Is that fine? Then for calculation of the return, I will do is what? That capital gain distribution plus dividend distribution which has happened 80%. I will calculate per unit, then I will apply the formula dividend distribution, capital gain distribution, NAV1 minus NAV0 by NAV. If you are able to do this way, the things will not challenge at all. Whether it is a mathematical, non mathematical, any kind of a length of a question, I would advise just get the hint what is my last answer, what he needs for that, what are the numbers required, what numbers have been given, and what numbers I need to calculate. Can we do that part out? Let us put down. So, first part in this will be calculation of cash balance on 34 2000. 12 solution 27 let's go down hmm? this is ac remote i hope what question we were doing this one. Calculation of cash balance as on uh, thirty four two thousand. Is in yes. opening cash balance. <laughs> you had uh, 20 lakh units into 10 minus initial expenses was 12 12 minus investment 185 3 lakhs then I have during the uh, nay, it in during the month of April disposed of some instruments 63 inflow is 63 please that means sale of instruments then he says proceeds were used purchasing securities of 56 lakh minus purchase of securities Fifty six. Then he said fund management expenses. 
एट लैख टेन परसेंट आर इन एरियर्स माइनस आई एम पुटिंग हेयर नाइंटी परसेंट इंच देन देर वॉज अ डिविडेंट इनकम distribution of the realized earning 80% percent minus distribution of a realized earnings and what i'll do is i know after that it will be a closing cash balance na so i'll leave one two line here and i'll show somewhere here or on the right hand side my realized earnings because after that there is no nothing adjustment in the cash balance in realized earning i have dividend income which is clear cut 2 lakh and capital gain item of 60 lakh you sold for 60 lakh total realized earning is 5 lakh so what you have here is 5 lakh into 80 percent each this is your closing cash this is your closing cash balance next what will do how much do we get how much do we get 0.80 0.80 now first part is to calculate the net asset we'll do uh, total nav total assets in fact total assets market value of portfolio you had he gave you rupees 190 eight lakh plus cash balance this question generally comes for This question generally comes for eight to ten marks. So please, one ninety-eight. It will come back. Don't worry. One ninety-eight point eight. Now calculate on your own, please. The minus liability, minus that liability. The NAV per unit. in navy per unit calculate that is only one once outside liability was how much point 8 total in navy would be
198. Total NAV would be 198. Minus uh, calculate NAV per unit. Calculate NAV per unit. NAV per unit. One ninety eight lakh divided by what? Divided by twenty lakhs. How much do we get? Nine point. return calculation for return calculation what we will do is distribution per unit let us put down calculation of return you can write the way I uh, speak calculation of return calculation of return distribution per unit distribution per unit Two things you have distributed per unit. Distribution per unit. Distribution per unit. One was dividend distribution. Dividend distribution per unit. And next was what? Capital gain distribution. In fact, dividend distribution. Look up, please. Dividend distribution per unit. Uh, this was two lakh divided by twenty lakhs into. You know what you'll do? Eighty percent. It was only eighty percent what you distributed. Two lakh divided by. Similarly, calculate capital gain distribution, please. Similarly, calculate capital gain distribution, please. Capital How much do we have? Into eighty percent. Just tell me the amounts what you get. Point zero eight. Point one two. Point two. Now you can calculate using this data a uh, return per month. return per month write down the formula please i am not writing here write down the formula write down the formula dividend distribution plus capital gain distribution write down the formula dividend distribution plus capital gain distribution plus nav1 minus nav0 divided by nav0 Dividend distribution plus capital gain distribution plus NAV1 minus NAV0 divided by NAV0. 0 0.08 plus 0 0.12. NAV1 was 9.9 .9 minus 10 divided by 10 into 100. It's a per month you'll get. How much do you get? One, one percentage per month. One percentage per month. Annual return. Annual return. Annual return would be one percentage into what? 12 by 1, 12 percentage per annum. 
and if you do not calculate the 12 percentage per annum there could be a challenge please if it's 10 marks question you might find 8 or 9 marks he would be awarding to you the mistake of the area is this last part which annual by chance we forget because month data was given second doubt which can come when you revise at home is sir he mentioned the investor is holding 100 units investor is holding 100 units that has no significance because originally opening also 100 closing is 100 in case the numbers change then we'll see what to take in the subsequent part so that was not my objective as of now whether you calculate on one if you want to calculate on 100 you can do is what you can multiply dividend into 100 you can multiply the capital gain and then according to 100 nav opening and closing and so on the net answer would come same which is there so this was the second part of the question which can be there now rest every part would revolve around the same thing so i'll not do much because even this i think needs a, some part to be repaired uh, we'll do a quick recap what we've done just go back to your initial pages please just go back to your initial pages <laughs> if i go back to initial pages initial pages means register what we started with the mutual fund mutual fund i'll just do a recap quickly what we done today it's a uh, nothing but it's a indirect way of investing in the market from me the objective was mutual fund generates a return which returns back to the investor to understand the return in the hands of investor i need to know what is my closing value that we call is a nav nav 1 nav 0 is the investment what we do nav closing find first part of the concept we did was how to calculate the nav nav calculation is nothing but asset value minus outside liabilities divided by number of units the assets value would be calculated at what market price in case market price is not available then at book value that will give me nav after that we have done the second part is return return is in the hand of investor what amount he invested what amount he is realizing and what amount is increased value shown in the closing nav so dividend distribution capital gain distribution plus nav minus nav 0 divided by nav 0 will give me the return in addition now things can increase only when he can ask you to calculate what closing cash balance in case opening cash balance is given then closing ba cash balance should be calculated using that closing cash balance nav should be calculated and then you can put in the return formula area of a mistake can be he is asking per annum and we might end at a month that keep in mind which comes out is that fine so that's uh, it will do it for today i'm not giving you any homework just for one day more onwards i'll start giving you and whatever how the answers would be shared with you how that i'll discuss in uh, next class itself that exactly how the answers would be shared with you you'll be given uh, some link and so on accordingly you'll get everything here so nothing to be worried for uh, today just revise that from tomorrow i'll continue from here the questions will start moving only in a few points plus and minus language formation reverse calculation of the return or return given reverse calculation the nav is and so on so we'll have the questions accordingly okay? so let's <coughs> take care and bye bye